Hey guys, I've got some more information for you regarding PlayStation 5. Now, I just got two controllers yesterday. On October 30th, all the accessories became available in most large retailers. I called my local GameStop and they had about 10 on hand. And when I went in, I got the very last two. So the stores may have a low quantity of accessories, so you might want to call ahead. But these PlayStation 5 controllers are fantastic. The quality is so high. I mean, you can really tell it when you pick it up and you feel it and you hit the buttons. And while messing around with the controller, I realized that yeah you can plug the PlayStation 5 into your PC and I was able to get the mic to work so I wanted to test the mic and see what it would sound like. I did a bunch of tests on it. I hit all the buttons and played background noises and did some other interesting <laughs> testing as you can see in the title and I'll show you guys all the results of that in just a moment but first I wanted to talk to you guys about the very first discord server I have ever attempted to set up. So the PS5 consoles are coming and we know that the faceplates come off extremely easy and and Sony has said that we're going to be able to customize this console in ways that we've never seen before. People will have the ability to change these like they change their clothes. And one of the PlayStation devs already leaked that they're going to be doing some super special additions for this console. I was thinking about that and the future of the customizations that are going to be possible for this console. So I set up a Discord server just dedicated to that. The server is focused on PlayStation 5 plate customization, controller, and skin customizations. I'm trying to offer a hub where people can go and find the latest and greatest styles and see if any artists are out there designing their own art on the side of the plate since you can remove them so easy you could just go out in your backyard spray paint them or do whatever you want with them so i wanted to offer a platform where artists can show off their work and if they're selling them on like ebay or etsy and then also try to keep track of stores that have official licensed plates and controllers i'll also be making youtube videos about some of these awesome designs to help support the creator and the stores. I'll have this Discord link down in the description if you guys want to join up. There was one company I wanted to try to help support and review, but it looks like Sony has taken them down. They were sent a cease and desist letter because they were trying to sell third-party faceplates. They recently made a tweet announcing this, saying that they're going to refund everybody. Their original name was the PlayStation, and then they changed it to customize my plates, but yeah, they are no longer allowed to make these. And that's unfortunate because I know a lot of people want different colors, but this could mean that Sony Sony plans on offering these faceplates in all kinds of different colors and special editions, and they don't want anybody competing with them that are third party or not licensed. Okay, so on to the controller mic review and testing. So yes, you can hook up a PlayStation 5 controller to a PC and the mic will work. So I decided to just plug it in and turn on my audio capture and see what it sounded like. And hopefully this will give some kind of an idea of what it's going to sound like when you're talking to people through this controller and gaming and chatting. So the mic is located in the center and towards the bottom. There's a very small round hole. And I'll let you guys listen to what it sounds like when you talk into it and hit buttons and play background noises. Also keep in mind, this is on PC. There's no telling what this is gonna sound like when it's actually hooked up to the PlayStation 5. There's definitely gonna be some settings in the system that you can change. And I know there's been noise cancellation options talked about. And obviously I don't have a PlayStation 5 to test that out. So yeah, the PC is the best I can do. So I'll let you guys listen to the first part of the mic testing. And I did use both controllers to test to see if there were any differences. So I've plugged my PS5 controller that I just got today into my PC and it is working as a mic on my PC. And right now I'm talking directly into the mic. Now I am to the right of the controller and I'm at the center of the controller. And now I'm about to move to the left side of the controller. Now I am on the left side of the controller and now I'm gonna hold it down in my lap like you would if you were actually gaming. And that's what you're hearing right now. Now I am talking directly into the mic again. And for some reason, the sound is coming out of the right ear more than the left. It's a little imbalanced. I don't know if it's my PC or what, but if I move the controller, to my left and talk it seems to balance it out better okay now i'm talking through another playstation 5 controller i have two of them and the previous one yeah the sound is imbalanced as far as volume it sounds like the right ear is louder than the left so this is the second controller and as you can tell i'm talking directly into the mic and the right ear is definitely louder than the left still so it might be a situation where all controllers are going to be like this people were asking what it's going to sound like when 
people are gaming and hitting the buttons. So I am going to start with the circle button on the right. And now I'm hitting the X button, the square button, and triangle button. So that's not so bad. But now we'll go to the right joystick. And I'm just moving it up and down. And then left and right. And the left is yeah, up and down, left and right. And then the D-pad up, right, down, and left. Okay, now I want to test background noises and what people might hear. If they're gaming with someone that's got games sound coming out of their speakers, I've got a TV going on in the background. I'm about eight feet away from it, and this is what it sounds like. And now he's making phone calls to potential voters in his state to not only push for Trump's Democratic opponent Joe Biden to win. Okay, now I'm back on my regular mic, and yes, those buttons are pretty loud. And if you're gaming with someone and they're just hammering away at those buttons, that could get really annoying. Again, I'm sure there's going to be some audio options within the console and the settings, but we just don't know what that is right now. As it stands, with that mic right there, if anybody bumps that, hits that, blows into it, or anything like that, it could blow your eardrums. And I could see people definitely trolling with this thing. So if people are gaming and in a public chat or something like that and they're not aware of this mic and it's on, it could definitely create a lot of noise. I've seen comments online where people are worried about this mic and people trolling with it. And since this controller is in your lap and close to your nether regions, a lot of people are wondering, are people going to be trolling with like flatulence and fart noises? And that was kind of the first thing I thought too. This mic is close to your stomach. Like what if your stomach is like going off or something like that? And it certainly won't take a lot to pick up a fart noise. And I wanted to demonstrate just to see how bad it would be. So I downloaded a fart app on my phone and played it sitting in my lap while I was holding the controller. Now this may seem ridiculous, but everybody's thinking it. And I thought, yes, I will just demonstrate for science. I tried to simulate reality with putting the phone about the same distance that it might actually be and at the same volume. Again, disclaimer, this is a phone app. This is not me. I'll let you guys listen. So yes, if the PlayStation 5 controller, I can hardly get through this without laughing, but if the PlayStation 5 controller performs on the console like it does on PC, then get ready to hear a lot of that. So yes, I think that covers every possible sound that you might be worried about with this mic. Also, one last thing before I go, the picture here of the PS5 controller does have a cover on it. This is silicone. It is made for PlayStation 5. This thing is fabulous and makes the controller feel really good. I noticed that the back of the handles has that texture on it, so it gives you grit, but for me, have girl hands and it feels like sandpaper and is really rough so I really like having this silicone cover on it. Also the back of the silicone cover does have grips built in so that's awesome and I have all of this in that discord server if you guys are interested in checking them out. I am selling these but I hope you guys enjoyed this and we'll see you next video.